Scorpio, happy birthday. Welcome to Scorpio season. I'm your host, Tina. I will be doing your upcoming weekly tarot reading. This is for about the first week of November, roughly November 2nd to the 8th. Now, if you happen to come before the 2nd or after the 8th, really, as long as these readings resonate, then trust that they are for you. Now, the way I like to do these readings is I am going to pull one card each first, just to get an idea of the general energies that are happening for you this week. And then we will go in together and clarify each of those energies by pulling two additional cards. So let's just give these a few shuffles here and see what the tarot has to say. This is for the Zodiac of Scorpio, November 2nd to the 8th. It is their season. Happy solar return. All right, three more shuffles and we'll get started. Last one. And we're gonna stop here. Situation, we got the nine of wands. There's a lot of passion here. Or you're challenged by the seven of wands. Where's your mind at? What are you focused on? Your approach when it comes to this. Any external influences or people that may be affecting you. And then the near future outcome, what is coming towards you. Wow. There's just like, we got the nine of wands, the five of wands, seven of wands, six of wands. There's just so much passion. Passions are running high this week. This is feeling like a test of faith this week. Um, so far, there's no major arcanos, though, so I feel like you will navigate this week. You're going to have moments of heaviness, moments of victory, um, but they shall all pass. The central energy here is the Nine of Wands. So whatever the situation is, you've been through a lot with it. You are tired. You're feeling like the wounded warrior. You're like ready to throw in the towel here. At the same time, you're ready to give them a fight. You're standing tall. You're standing tall here. You might be a little guarded here, protecting yourself a little bit. I'm a little defensive. We will go in and clarify. We will go in and clarify. The only reason I say that, Scorpio, is because in your challenge position, we literally have the card of defending yourself, right? We got that seven of wands. So it's just like maybe it's a card about like having healthy boundaries. And like instead of putting up walls, it's trying to have healthy boundaries and having that fine balance. We will go in and clarify. But the Seven of Wands talks about taking a stand and knowing where you stand. Truly, and that's what I'm feeling in the challenge position right now. Because where your mind's at and what it's focused on, it does have this Five of Wands. So there's like a little bit of conflicting energy here. Um, in your approach, we do have the Eight of Cups. So this is you really wanting to go after your happiness, ultimately. Now, in your environment, we do have the Two of Swords here. So there's something that's feeling stuck. Feeling like you're at maybe at a crossroads in your life, you know, it's that kind of energy. But coming towards you, you will overcome this. We got the Six of Wands, you got victory, you got two wreaths of victory here. It's feeling confident, feeling proud, overcoming whatever this is. Whatever's on your mind with that Five of Wands coming towards you is the ability to overcome this and being recognized for it. So let's go ahead and clarify the Nine of Wands here. Tired. It's stressing you. It's feeling like a test. Okay, we're going to stop there. Oh, two did come out. Ooh, the Two of Cups and the Sun. We do have the Five of Swords at the bottom. There's a partnership here. There's a partnership that makes you so happy, but at the same time, I feel like it once made you so happy. And now it's just testing you. This partnership here with the Sun, man, it did make you so happy, Scorpio. You might even be getting some illumination, some aha moments, some clarity when it comes to this partnership as well. But you've got your guard up here. I'll say that definitely, whoever this is resonating with for this partnership, your guard is definitely up. However, you are fighting the good fight. Any challenge that this might be throwing your way, you're standing strong. You're facing it. You're definitely facing it. But there was something here that just felt so happy. And right now it's just like, you, you want your happiness. You want this partnership here, Scorpio. That's it. But it's just like you are tired at the same time. At the same time, you are really tired. Even though this makes you really happy, it has weighed heavily on you as well. In your challenge position, we do have the Seven of Wands. Again, these are all temporary energies here, but they are here this week. They are here for you to work through, definitely. Um, all right, let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Wands in your challenge position. What's the Seven of Wands about? Tell us more about the Seven of Wands. For me, it's just like, where do you stand? Um, okay, something flipped, I will take it. The Magician, 
and death. Six of Cups is at the bottom. It's that nostalgic soulmate energy from the past. <sighs> You're challenged by death here, right? So something's changed here. Even you have changed in a lot of ways. Where do you stand? You've changed. Where do you stand? That's the challenge it feels like. And then with the magician, I feel like it's also knowing that you have everything that you need, even though it may not feel like it right now. The magician is here to remind you, Scorpio, that you do have everything you need to manifest everything that you want. You have the power. You have the ability. It's in the challenge position, so I feel like it's just not recognizing it right now. Because right now I do feel like you're going through some test of faith. There's some challenge that life has thrown your way. You are standing strong, but it is testing you. To the point that you're not 100% with where you stand right now when it comes to this partnership. Can you see the bright new day with it? Does it make you happy still? Really interesting. On your mind, we do have that five of wands. So, I mean, it's just that, you know, conflicting energy. But again, it's an energy of change. It's an energy of shift. But it's also just like feeling conflicted. So tell us more about this. Like I said, you, you know... I can see the conflict because I can also see that right now you're not 100% with where you stand. All right, tell us more about, we're, we're going to take it. We got the devil there. So you're conflicted. You're like, is this toxic? Is this good for me? Maybe it's Capricorn on your mind. Um, ugh, Six of Wands is at the bottom again. King of Cups, Queen of Swords. Yeah. You're conflicted. You're ma you're you're conflicted. You're trying. You're really mastering your emotions. You're trying to figure out what is really working, what isn't. But there's conflict here because you're like, does this have a control over me? Is this good for me? How do I restore this? How do we get out of this toxic energy? Whatever had this control over us, over this partnership? And right now you're conflicted because you're just trying to get to the root of it. You want to restore order here, and you're really trying to maintain control over your emotions. Absolutely. But it does feel like you're trying to gain mental clarity right now because you're conflicted. And it's not just like a quick fix here. You're looking for the root cause. This is not Band-Aid fixes. This is really trying to cut to the heart of the matter here. To uproot something and extinguish, extinguish it so that it no longer is interfering. So you can restore the peace and balance and harmony here. In your approach right now, we do have the Eight of Cups. This is fundamentally you going after your happiness. It is hard though. It is with a heavy heart. So tell us more about this Eight of Cups. But let's clarify. Let's see what the other two cards have to say before we get too deep in it. Tell us more about this Eight of Cups for Scorpio and their approach. Three more shuffles. All right, last one. Three of Swords is at the bottom. Okay, clarifying the Eight of Cups. Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're walking away, whoever this is resonating with. I'm not saying for good, but I, I, I really feel like you get some clarity here. You've reevaluated here. You have reevaluated here, Scorpio. And after much reevaluation, again, you weren't looking for quick fixes, you weren't looking for band aid fixes. But it's causing you to really take a good look at long term, what you want with you, what is here to stay, what is worth your time. Should you keep pouring your heart and soul into this if you're not going to get back and return what you put in? And I think it once made you so happy, but right now there's an obvious something's missing to the point that you have to walk away and you have to go after your happiness. It's clear to you. It's clear that either something's got to be cut out, I have to say that, or, or you have to walk away. At least for the time being, that's, that's your approach right now. But it is mental clarity. It's seeing the clear path. It's seeing the solution. And so for some reason in your environment, we do have this Two of Swords. Let's clarify this Two of Swords, though, in the environment. For your approach when it comes to this, I see you, whoever this is resonating with. Again, after, like, really um, taking a good, hard look, putting it under the microscope, saying, oh, well, this is what I have to do. That's what it feels like with the Ace of Swords and knowing that you have to. That's it, like it's clear to you. All right, let's clarify the Two of Swords in your environment. Tell us about the Two of Swords. I see the Two of Swords again. Three more shuffles. All right, last one. 
Clarifying the Two of Swords. In your environment, we get the Empress. Six of Swords. Yeah, I mean, ugh, gosh. If there is a Libra, um, Libra, Taurus, maybe, that some of you were dealing with, I'll just say that in the environment. There's something that you were nurturing, that you were giving all of your attention to. And I feel like you're at a crossroads. Do you nurture it or do you move to a different place? This is in the environment too. There's very much crossroad energy here. It's feeling like a test of faith, truly. It's like you don't want to give up. You want to keep fighting. But it's like something's missing. Something's missing here. Like something hasn't been right lately, definitely, because even in the environment, you're like, I'm ready to transition. I can't sit in this kind of mental space anymore. I can't sit in this energy anymore. I need to transition to calmer waters, to a healthier place, basically is what it feels like. You're not excited to do it, but it's like just like the Eight of Cups, just like the Six of Swords. You're not excited to do it, but it's just feeling like, what else can you do? The fear not, Scorpio, success is coming your way. You will overcome this. You will feel very confident. You will feel very proud. So let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Wands for what is coming towards you. Ah, let me fix it. It was the chariot, but I'm going I'm to shuffle these and see what wants to come out. Um, all right, clarify the Six of Wands for what is coming towards Scorpio. This first week of November, we'll take it. Six of Pentacles, more balance here, and the Four of Swords. We're getting some rest and recovery. We're definitely getting some rest and recovery. You will overcome this. I feel like you're going to restore balance. You're going to feel restored. A sense of relief is coming through, definitely. But you've been through the ringer here, Scorpio, whoever this is resonating with. So that you're going to enter this place where you, you're going to take some time with that Four of Swords to recover and to make some space. I don't think you're walking away for good here for a lot of you, honestly. Um, I feel like you need some space here. You need to create some space here. Things have been too heavy. You, you don't like the energy you've been sitting in. Definitely. That's why you have to at least take a step back. You've at least taken a step back because you need some time to absorb everything. You need some time to recover. You need some time to just take a good look at everything. Make space for it. What do you want? What's really here to stay? What is worth your energy? What's the next move here? But you got success. You're going to overcome this, definitely. You're going to restore the balance. And you're going to get some time to rest and recover because you need it, because you deserve it. And it is your birthday. So I'll leave it there for you, Scorpio. Um, if anything resonates, please like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you guys so much for letting me tune into your energies. I'll see you all next week.